Good morning, guys. So your Desmos today has to do with domain and range. To begin, it says exploring domain. I know domain means my X values. So why is something wrong with the shading on this graph? Well, if I take a look, my graph only goes from here to here and goes from X equals one to X equals four. So if it's only going from here to here, this shade looks wrong because it goes all the way to x equals five and that's incorrect so you might want to put something in the box is that the shaded region is too large it goes all the way to five when it really should just end at four all right so now we drag the orange part to fix the shading for the graph so i can take this cursor and i'm not moving it this way i'm moving it all the way to where the graph ends something like that and moving on all right so this is what we were talking about around the first slide so the x value remember domain is dealing with the x value this x value right here where the graph begins is one it ends around four. Now it's saying it's gonna be 4.04. .04. We don't know that just by looking at it, but because this is the number it gives us, we can assume it's just above four. All right, now this says fix the inequality to show the domain of the function. So if the function's over here, this value, this domain looks like it's around negative 1.5. So I'm gonna change my minimum value here to negative 1.5. My maximum value, the most right it goes is right on an easy line. That's going to be positive one. So my maximum value is going to be positive one. Next thing that we need to notice are the opened and the closed dots. So this one is a closed dot while this one's open. The closed dot means it includes that value while the open dot means it excludes. It is not counted for. Included means I change this to a less than or equal to sign. The way that you do that is you type in an equal sign, or you type in the inequality and the equal sign before it. So this is what you type in, and when you do that, it'll turn into the proper inequality sign. So make sure you have that here. This is what you have because it's included, and then just the regular less than sign is what you'll have for the excluded dot. All right, so what did we have before? What did that match? I had it closed less than or equal to and just a less than sign here, and my values were negative 1.5 and one. That's gonna match hmm, this one right here. Automatically, we could have gotten rid of, um, because this is a solid line, letters A and C. Going, narrowing it down to letters B and D, I know because this is open, I'm just gonna have a regular less than sign. All right, so let's talk about what is the domain of this function. So with domain, again, we're talking about the x value and the x goes from the left to the right. So what is the leftmost value? The leftmost value is gonna be right here, that's negative five. What is the rightmost value? It's gonna be right here and it's gonna be positive 10. So I know I can begin with numbers five, x is for domain and 10. So I have something like this. So let's talk about the signs now. This is a closed dot, so I know it's going to be a solid line. This is an open dot, so I know it's going to be a dashed line. For that, I'm going to change this inequality, throw an equal sign at the end, and turn it to a less than or equal to sign, and this one stays just less than. Oh, this needs to be negative five. So you can see I hit enter and it only shaded the incorrect region. When I do that and turn that into negative five, yep, now it's correct. 
All right, same type of deal here, but I want you guys to pause the video and see if you can figure out what is the domain of this graph. When you do that, you should figure out that your minimum right here, most left is going to be negative six. And over here, your maximum is gonna be eight. So when I have those numbers here, negative six, x, and eight, just want to make sure that my signs are correct. This is a closed dot. They both actually are closed dots, which means that this is going to be solid and this is also going to be solid. These need to change to less than or equal to signs. So I'm going to throw an equal sign at the end of both of them to change the sign and submit it. That looks correct and both of these are solid, so it looks good to me. All right, so hopefully that gives you an idea of what to do for the rest of these. I want you guys to try these challenges. And then for range, I'll just do this one with you guys. Range is similar, but it's different because range means your Y value. Your Y value is gonna go instead of left to right, it's gonna go instead from up to down. So, when I do that, my lowest most value, I can drag it to right here because that's the lowest value of this entire graph. My highest value is going to be up here. And I would write this as a minimum of negative three, a maximum right here of positive three. And instead of x going in between it's going to be y because it's range and then i figure out what my signs are going to be because this is closed it is less than or equal to and because this is open it's just a regular less than sign so hopefully that helps you guys figure out the rest of them these are supposed to be more challenging it's more of math two questions so i want you guys to try your best on these ones and let me know. When you're done with that, you have another Desmos on parallel lines and you should spend the rest of the time looking at your power school and getting your grades right for the end of quarter three.